Ow! Oh. Those are some hot keys. Hot keys? What's up my friends, I'm Fowler and today I'm bringing you a quick tip to make you a more better producer right now, today, guaranteed. We're talking hot keys, so let's go. So one of the most common comments I get when I'm working with somebody in the studio is that I'm pretty quick on the edits, okay? I'm, I'm somewhat of a ninja when it comes to the keyboard. Anybody who has communicated with me online knows that I'm terrible on the keyboard. I can't type to save my life. But when it comes to editing, I'm pretty quick. So for an example, we're gonna cut this beat up and you can watch what happens on the keyboard. Now, these hotkeys obviously only apply to FL Studio, but I think the idea can easily be applied to other uh, DAWs like Ableton or Logic or whatever. So here we go, we're gonna cut this up. So for duplicate, I've taken it a step further and there's uh, there's six custom buttons on the side of my G602 mouse and I've assigned one of them to duplicate. So I highlight it, click, 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 okay? Um, I've assigned another one to the stretch tool. Um, so if I wanted to turn stretch on and off, that's this button. And you can see it clicking on and off because I use stretch quite a bit. So turn stretch on, we stretch it out. Okay, that's too much, we stretch it back turn stretch off and now we can manipulate the audio that way. Okay, so we're happy with that. Uh, let's assign it to a track. Now I've, I've set this, this is something I do quite often. So I've made a conscious decision to set it to a button on my mouse. So I click that, boom. Now we're assigned to track eight. Uh, the next one over I've assigned to rename. So I click that and now we can call this drums because that's something I do a lot. So anything you do a lot, if you can, uh, chop a few seconds off of each time you do that and you do it a thousand times a week where well, you just saved yourself 2,000 seconds, right? And that's the whole name of this game is to be more efficient and get your ideas out fast. Hey, future Nick here, just editing this video and um, I came across a time save that I've been putting off figuring out, okay? So whenever I would cut these numerous layers, I would hit the B key, which would bring up the cut and I'd cut, 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 then I'd cut, 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 then I'd select and then I'd delete. And that's how I'd trim. And I knew there was a better way of doing it, but I kind of put it off until I was like, you know what? I'm going to take three minutes and look it up online. And I did. And now instead of doing it that way, I click where I want to cut. I do control B. I go over here, control B. And there we go. All right, back to the video. Now that we've manipulated that, let's uh, let's maybe do some automation on the volume. So we got volume here. Uh, I'm just gonna click in some random notes. This is a really good point for FL users. If you highlight, you can see that some of these letters have a tiny little line under them. So copy value. As soon as I click that, that's telling me that if I hit D right now, it's gonna delete. If I hit C right now, it's gonna copy the value. If I hit V, it's gonna paste the value. So say I want I want this to be the same value as that, I'd right click, I'd hit C, I'd right click, I'd hit V, and boom. And that's really quick. That's a lot quicker than going down, going copy, going down, going paste. You know, say we wanna do the same thing here, copy, paste, okay? So that's a really good idea. And that applies to a lot of things. Look here, if we, if we click on this, we can see uh, make unique is M. Okay, so to make this unique, you could go click, click, and that's gonna take you maybe three seconds. But if you go click M, that took you one second. You just saved two seconds. And if you're doing that over and over and over again every day, this stuff really adds up. And it just allows you to get your creative ideas out a lot more effectively and a lot quicker. Specifically in FL, I'm always going between B and C, B and C, B and C, B and C, because B, is the general kind of uh, brush tool that allows you to, to paint things in, move things around, etc. And C is the cut tool, okay? So you can kind of do that. And then I go back to B, I click, I go back to C, I cut, I go back to B, I, I clip, etc., etc. I can still remember the very first day I started using FL Studio. Massive snowstorm, I was stuck inside. I went and I physically printed off a hard copy of the hotkeys from the help uh, menu. And I sat there and I just brutally forced myself 
to use these hotkeys to the point where now it's like second nature. I, if somebody asked me what key to do what, I wouldn't know because it's built into my muscle memory from doing it for so long every single day, right? You know, I can kind of remember some things, but a lot of the things my fingers just go. I think and they go, right? And that's where you want to get to because that allows, that, that breaks down the barrier between you and your idea being a reality. You know, you have this idea in your head, you have what's actually existing on your computer, and anything you can do to chip away at that barrier is gonna help you in the long run. Learn your hotkeys. It might feel a little clunky at first, but I can guarantee you, if you can get those hotkeys down, any chance you can take to, to slim your clicks, to, to reduce the amount of clicks you need to do, the amount of time to do an action, that's only going to increase your productivity, it's only gonna increase your creativity. Um, so, RTFM people. It's a Jeep thing.